Hello, boys and girls. So I have been at school this morning getting ready for your next two weeks of work. And Mrs. Peterson and I had popcorn for Popcorn Friday together with our e-school shirts from a distance, of course. Um, so send me pictures today if you have popcorn in your e-school shirts, because I know Ms. Frackman would like to post some of them on social media today. So I am going to read a really nice, old story to you, but I think one that you will enjoy called Yonder. It's written by Tony Johnson and the pictures are by Lloyd Bloom. That's loud. Yonder is the farmer on a jet black horse. Yonder are the hills that roll forever. Yonder is the river that runs to the sea. Yonder, way out yonder. I love the illustrations. So yonder means kind of out there. There comes the farmer with a brand new bride riding down the hills that roll forever. He digs a hole and plants a tree and says a prayer there, just over there. So do you think this story is happening now or long ago? Make your guess and let's see if your prediction is correct. There is the cabin made of fine white planks filling up the cats filling up with cats and dogs and children. Farmer plants a tree for every child who's born. There, just over there. There come the neighbors down the dust deep road, wagon creaking with a load of lumber, hammering and sawing till they build a barn. There, just over there. So here's the big family with all the trees they've planted. And here are the neighbors coming to help build a barn. And that was a tradition long ago if you guessed long ago you were correct in some places they still do that Amish families help each other build barns there is the plum tree growing year by year pink with clouds of blossoms in the springtime hopefully you still have some blossoms in your yard mine kind of got killed by the snow daughter swinging up and up to kick the sky there just over there look at the beautiful blossoms and the daughter swinging. Inside is the mother by a quilting frame. Outside is the father plowing wheat fields. Children walk to school beneath a soft spring rain, dreaming, dreaming of summer. Are you dreaming of summer? She's making a quilt and father is plowing. Children feed the chickens as the sun goes up. Father milks the cows while cats are watching. Feed the pigs and feed the geese and feed the goat. There, just over there. Brother pounding fence posts in the nearby heat. Woodpeckers are packing out the same song. Everybody splashing when the work is done. There, just over there. Look at all the animals. Isn't it beautiful? There are the sons now taller than the farmer. There is the daughter at her wedding. Neighbors come from near and far to fill the churchyard. There, just over there. What season do you think it is now? Looks like these were painted in the fall. There is the plum tree growing year by year, loaded with the fruit of early summer. Young man makes a cradle in the old man's shade. There, just over there. I want you to look at these pictures. And who do you think the older people are on the porch? And here's a man making a cradle for his wife. So this is one of the sons and these are the people from the beginning. So we've gone through several years of their lives, maybe 25 or 30 years of their lives. By and by, the mother has become a grandma 
By and by the father is a grandpa, holding hands together as the sun goes down, going, going, gone. Grandpa tells a story full of make-believe, lap is full of children in their nightshirts. Owls are listening, bears are listening. What then? What? There, just over there. That's one of my favorite pictures. Can you see the grandma and grandpa in the background? And then the grandpa telling stories. Maybe you can get your grandpa to tell you some stories over FaceTime. There is the plum tree growing year by year, glowing like a bonfire in autumn. Pumpkins on the front porch grin from ear to ear. There, just over there. Beautiful fall scene. Christmas time has come again. The snow falls down. Grandma knitting caps and scarves and mittens. Merry voices ringing through the frozen woods. Joy, joy to the world. Grandpa knows a place where, with trees like tall white ships, standing on the hills that roll forever. Bring one home, it fills the house with pine and wonder. There, just over there. So she's knitting and he's bringing in a Christmas tree. Lots of grandkids helping. There is the plum tree growing year by year. Leaves are gone, birds are gone in winter. Wild deer walk beneath it as quiet as the snow. There, just over there. Do you like the repeating part? It's the same plum tree there, just over there in every part. I love trees. There is the old man who was once a farmer resting with a sleepy dog beside him, snoring in and out like a thousand thousand bees. There, just over there. There's the grandpa snoring. He's worked hard, he deserves time to rest, doesn't he? There is the family beside the tree. Neighbors come from near and far to be there. Grandpa died. Grandpa's gone, so they plant a tree there, just over there. So the story is kind of about the whole cycle of life, isn't it? It's kind of sad, but Grandpa lived a really full life, and look at that lovely family he has. Yonder is the farmer on a jet black horse. Yonder are the hills that roll forever. Plum tree is in blossom with a thousand thousand bees. Yonder, way over yonder. Isn't that a beautiful story? I hope you have a fabulous day. And I am gonna remind you that Monday is pickup. So I've just been at school working on putting together your packet. So you'll have two weeks worth to pick up on Monday. And we have some cool things for you coming up this next two weeks. Mrs. Peterson and I worked hard to come up with some, some neat activities. So have a great day. Be kind to your family, help out at home and be good listeners. I love you, bye.